Hi guys, I'm Nicola McKenzie, founder and insurance specialist here at Dunham McCarthy. Now, if you're a business owner or you're involved in management and you're a key person within a business, then making sure that you understand key person protection is essential for making sure that your business venture is protected from unforeseen challenges. So if you are in that category, then stay tuned to find out more. Now, before we get into the detail of today's video, make sure that you check out the other videos in this playlist because I've got a whole playlist of videos dedicated to making sure that your business has got the financial resilience that it needs. Now, also, if you're thinking about giving your business more financial resilience and exploring any of the topics that I cover in this video, then remember that here at DM, we've got our very own business protection specialist team. So if you want to show your support for the content that we put out, head over to our website and there you can book in for a free appointment. Our website is dm.mortgage and there we can help you to compare options from high street and specialist insurers to make sure that your business has got the peace of mind that it needs. Now, when you arrange business protection with one of our team, we'll also give you access to our complimentary will writing service. That's over at mylastwill.co.uk and that will make sure that your hard-earned assets, your business included, of course, are distributed according to your wishes should the worst happen. And that is another really essential step for entrepreneurs and for self-employed. So don't overlook the importance of a will. Firstly, let's look at what key person protection actually is. Now, key person protection is a strategic insurance arrangement. And what it's going to do, guys, is shield your business from potential financial losses that can stem from the death or the critical illness of a key individual, hence the term key person. So in today's video, I'll be looking at what a key person is, how key person cover works, tax relief on the premiums, other taxation areas to consider as well. So what even is a key person? Now, a key person refers to somebody in a business whose skills, knowledge, experience, or leadership significantly contribute to your business's ongoing success. Now, these key people can span over various different roles. We're not just talking about the business owner or the directors. It could be anyone from the chairman to the managing director to marketing managers. It could be sales managers, computer specialists. Their absence could trigger a range of financial setbacks such as a loss to the profits, the need to recruit or train replacements, disruptions to contracts, goodwill losses, or even diminished confidence among customers and suppliers. Now, when you're determining who qualifies as a key person, that's going to revolve around looking at what the business stands to incur in terms of the financial losses due to that key individual's demise. So if that person was no longer around, what impact would that have on the business? That's what you need to look at. And if you think that the impact of the loss of a person could be detrimental to the success of the business, then that person probably needs to be considered for key person protection. Now, why is key person protection needed? Again, just expanding on that. Businesses often recognise the necessity of insurance. I think if you're running a business and you don't understand the necessity of insurance, I think that would be problematic in itself. But not, to, not many people or not many business owners often realise the importance of safeguarding against the potential loss of a key employee. Now, key person cover is not a legal requirement like some business insurances are. And I think in part, that's why this area of protection can often be underestimated. But such an oversight can really lead to some really negative consequences. Because like I said earlier in the intro, the departure of a vital team member can have a real negative impact impact on a business and it could result in erosion of customer confidence. It could be that a um, loan is recalled from a bank or it could be that there's a shift in upfront supplier payments required because the death of a key person can concern suppliers and customers. Now many businesses will place a high value on their employees and see them as invaluable assets. Usually it's the people that drive a business forwards. Here at Dun & McCarthy, we're no different in that respect. It's all about the strong team of people that we have. But if your client shares this sentiment, then again, key person protection could be the ideal solution to making sure that if a key person passes away, that business can still survive and it can still thrive. 
So let's look at how it actually works. Now, critical illness, again, is an area that really shouldn't be dismissed in terms of a key person within a business because the critical illness of a key person can have similar effects to the death of a key person because if you're suffering from cancer, again, your commitment and focus to that business is obviously going to be significantly less than if you didn't have cancer. And if you're a key person, that's going to impact on the business. So calculating the appropriate cover amount is going to involve assessing that individual's contribution to the profits, but also a business needs to look at what is the cost of replacing that person. So if that key individual did pass away or get a critical illness, what is the cost to the business to bring someone new in, train them up and get them to the standard of that key person that currently is in the business? Now, different formulas to work this out exist. It could be multiples of earnings for that person, or it could be a proportion of the profit, profits even. But these things are obviously going to be specific to your business's unique circumstances. So you need to have a think about that. But key person protection can also be structured around the business's legal framework. So for limited companies, for example, the business can apply for the policy and own it and pay the premiums. In partnerships, each partner could take out an individual policy and place it under a trust that benefits the other partners. If it's a limited liability partnership, then you could have flexibility of combining limited liability benefits with partnership organisations as well. So it does depend on the legal structure and framework of your business in terms of what way it's best to set the policy up. Now let's look at whether or not you can claim relief on the premiums where you take out a key person policy. Now corporation tax, where the policy is on the life of an employee, the tax treatment of the premiums is likely largely going to depend on what's known as the Anderson principles. Now there's a set of criteria that apply to the Anderson principles. I'm not gonna get into them in today's video. Probably want to have a discussion with your accountant about, but ultimately if you meet that criteria, then yes, the company can treat the premiums as an allowable business expense. And therefore it can be deductible from the company's profits. Therefore, obviously reducing your corporation tax liability each year. So if that important criteria is met, that will determine whether or not you can offset the cost of the cover against corporation tax. But if you can, obviously that's an even bigger and better benefit. Now for a limited liability partnership, then yes, premiums again may be allowable as a business expense if the key person is also an employee of the business. So again, it really just depends on what type of business structure you have as to how the tax, the premiums are treated. But again, that's where our team and or your accountant can help you. Now, there are other tax implications that need to be considered when you're looking at a insuring one of your key people within a business. But these tax implications can vary depending on factors like corporation tax, inheritance tax and capital gains tax. Now, a cash injection to your business through policy proceeds will tend to increase the value of your business. So if the, if the deceased key person was also a shareholder, that would mean that the value of their estate would be increased in the event that they pass away, right? Now, if the shares were passing to someone other than their spouse or civil partner, and the business relief wasn't fully available, then any inheritance tax liability that's due against that person's share could be increased. So again, it's important to consider taxation here. Now, capital gains tax liabilities can also arise in the event of the sale of the individual share of the business due to a terminal illness or a critical illness. And there may be other taxation implications as well. But of course, this will depend on your individual circumstances. So I think that the point I'm making here, guys, is that there may be tax implications. That is why it's important to get advice from ourselves and an accountant when you are going through the process of setting up key persons protection. Now, as a final point, it's also worth bearing in mind that utilizing the use of a trust, so making sure that when you take the policy out, it's arranged under a suitable trust, because what this can do is offer additional control over who owns the policy and how those proceeds under the policy are distributed, because having trustees manage those trust assets for the benefit of beneficiaries can again be an added layer of making sure that there's a smooth transition in the event of a claim. 
Now, in summary, guys, key person protection isn't just an option. In my opinion, it's really, really crucial to consider when you set up a business or if you are running a business. So by identifying and protecting the key individuals in your business, it ensures that you are securing the foundation of your business and, of course, safeguarding its continued success. So remember that anything I've covered in today's video is um, subject to change, especially where we're talking about taxation. And therefore, it's important that you consult with our team when you're setting up key persons cover and also get tax advice. But thanks for joining us in the video. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Again, if you want to look at key person protection, make sure that you head over to our website because there we offer a free service to help you to arrange cover for your business. So head over to our website, which is dm.mortgage, and there you can book in with a member of our quality, fully qualified business protection team. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.